Android Authority, what is going on? My name is Kevin the Tech Ninja, and this is the basics of Android Part 2. In this edition, I'm gonna talk about how to set up your Android phone, how to use the home screens, and how to pretty much get around on your Android device. So if you're ready to learn, let's begin. So during our last session, we spoke about what is Android and getting started with it. We also touched on the UI just a little bit. So now we're gonna dig into the UI just a bit more. Let's do a recap from last video. In this notification bar, you can access some quick toggles. These toggles depends on the version of Android and skin you are using. Some toggles may be visible, but other phones may require you to press a more button. You can simply press icons to launch different settings. To move between your home screen, just swipe your finger to the left and to the right. When you reach the end of the screen, it will no longer go to the next screen. Also, there are corresponding dots to show you which screen you're currently located on. Press the home button to return back to the main screen. To launch an application, simply press on the application with your finger. This will open the application up and you are now in this program. To get out of it, go ahead and press on the home button or to go back to the previous screen, press on the back button. All right, so let's expand upon this. You'll quickly learn that Android is navigated via swipes, pinches, long press, and even taps. Out of the box, depending on the skin of Android you have, will determine the launcher. Regardless, all launchers pretty much act the same. What makes Android really unique is that it allows for widgets and application icons right on your home screen. Many new Android users will ask, what is a widget? Well, a widget is a graphical element on your home screen that offers data at a glance. For example, you can add a sports score widget so you can see all the scores without going into the application. An app icon is what you expect on the home screen. You can press the icon to open the application. Unlike the other major phone operating systems, all the applications do not need to be on your home screen because no matter what stock launcher you use, you have an application drawer. The application drawer holds all of your applications you have in a grid view. Some grids go vertically and some scroll horizontally. Depending on the launcher, you can access the widgets from here as well, but more on this later. Finally, shortcuts are actions within the application. Some applications support this feature, but sometimes this is forgotten about. And quite frankly, I forgot about it too. I actually am just adding this into the writing right now because it's something that's not used hardly at all, but it's still a part of Android and I still have to mention it. Although it looks like Google forgot about it too because it's not in the newest launcher. Hmm. On the home screen, you can press and hold on a blank spot and you can access the application shortcuts and widgets from here as well. The widget picker shows the size of the widget prior to plopping it down to your home screen. Press and hold your choice to drop it on the home screen. You can even resize it by pressing and holding on the widget. The grid size on the newest launcher, which is called the Google Experience Launcher, is 4x4. On the most popular Android devices, which is obviously Samsung, it uses the TouchWiz launcher. Well, TouchWiz uses 4x4 grid as well. And if for some reason you don't like your current launcher, you can always download third-party launchers from the Play Store. I'm actually a big fan of the third-party launchers because you can really customize the way you want your phone to look. You can change your grid size, you can change your icons, and you can have control of your home screen. As I said a few moments ago, all of your applications installed on your device will reside in your application drawer. By default, this is represented as an icon on your dock. And once you press the drawer, then a grid of all your icons show up and you slide and flick your way between all of your applications. The application drawer does a few more things besides launching applications. It allows you to move apps to your home screen by holding down the icon and dropping it on the screen. Also, you can press and hold the icon and it gives you an option to uninstall the application or just being able to access the application info. Another way to organize your applications is by making application folders. To make a folder, simply drag an icon into another one and this makes a folder. You can put this folder into your dock by dragging it into there as well. Once you open the folder, you can move icons around in different orders and you can also name the folder. The top bar of your Android device can show several icons like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Signal, NFC, and various system settings. These depend if they are turned on or active. The time, signal, and data you are receiving will always be displayed. On the left-hand side of the bar is where you find your notifications. Notifications are broken down into two categories, persistent and standard. Persistent notifications stay within the bar the whole time. Even if you press clear or swipe them away, it remains. One way it's used is to keep an application open so the Android operating system does not shut it down. The active notifications can be removed usually by a clear button or even a swipe away. 
These notifications come from other applications or events just to let you know what is going on. Any new emails, text messages, Google Hangouts notifications, Miley Cyrus twerk updates will be shown here in your notification bar. Some notifications can be expanded if they have more data than it shows. You can pinch the notification or press and hold and slide your finger down. To move an icon to the dock, first press and hold to make it movable, then drag it to your dock. The dock on most launchers can only hold five icons, including the launcher. So make sure you have enough room for it first. As I said before, as long as you're on the home screen, these docked icons will stay with you. You can go to the left or go to the right, and these icons always remain. But once you open an application or go into a different screen, the docks are no longer visible. All right, guys, this concludes this episode, part two of the basics of Android navigation. Now, just to let you guys know how this segment works, I'm just spoon feeding you a little bit here, just so you can understand a little bit of Android each time. And now by the time the series is complete, you should have an overall understanding of how Android works and also how to be effective at using it. Be seen as an expert when it comes to Android. So then you, can help your family members instead of me. All right, guys, if you like what we do here at Android Authority, make sure you drop a like below and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of videos coming up. And also every Sunday, we have a giveaway. Once again, guys, my name is Kevin, AKA The Tech Ninja, and this is Android Authority, your source for all things Android. Happy New Year. Woo!